looking at the evolution of civilian satellite SAR systems today, the Canadian Radarsat-1 stands out for several reasons. First and perhaps foremost, its C-band SAR instrument was designed to operate in a set number of very versatile imaging modes. Innovative radar beam farming and signal processing procedures have since been adopted and implemented by many satellite SARs worldwide including variations of the signature graphic of the various SAR operating modes. Radarsat-1 was laid out to perform in an operational environment. The goal was to support commercial data requirements, to fulfill routine environmental monitoring tasks, and on occasion execute high volume SAR data acquisitions over very large areas within a fairly short period of time for a number of so-called background missions. Outstanding examples include the Antarctica and the Canada mapping missions in the late 1990s. Both efforts resulted in high resolution radar sat image mosaics of the entire continent and the entire country. During its long lifetime of 17 years, the radar sat one system and expert teams of operators and managers have met and exceeded many of the goals stated at the outset. The legacy and perhaps ultimate value of Radarsat-1 was recognized by the Bank of Canada. It included it in the design of the $100 bill in 2004. Radarsat-2 was launched in 2007. The system is similar to its predecessor and it's owned by MDA, a private sector company with greater operational flexibility to respond to commercial requests and to routine data acquisition and environmental monitoring tasks. The CBENSAR system itself has greater radar signal polarization diversity for users to better identify and classify targets of interest. The Radarsat-2 image mosaic of Canada illustrates this added capability. More than 10 years into its lifetime, the Radarsat-2 system still has an excellent performance record with a data acquisition success rate of more than 97%. This mosaic of Canada is made up of 121 images captured by Radarsat-2. These images were acquired from May 1st to June 1st in 2013. The color variation represent the changes in soil texture, roughness, and the level of soil moisture. Canada's latest entry and continuation of the Radarsat program legacy is a constellation of three satellites. With the development and launch of the Radarsat constellation mission in 2019, the Canadian government is regaining full control over the system and its operation. RCM is primarily geared to routinely collect data for three environmental tasks, maritime surveillance, disaster management, and ecosystem monitoring. We will expand on the capabilities of the Radarsat Constellation mission in other parts of this MOOC.